Hello and welcome to Cancer Reach. Cancer Reach is an initiative to spread awareness about cancer. We are in October, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And today, let's spread awareness about breast cancer. We spoke about BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. Now, what are the cancers you get with BRCA1 and BRCA2? If you find somebody has BRCA1 or BRCA2, what are the precautions you should take? So, BRCA1 and BRCA2 can cause breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, skin cancers and pancreatic cancers. Now, in women, we are worried about breast and ovarian cancers. So, what we must understand is the risk of developing breast cancer in BRCA1 or BRCA2 people is 60 to 70 percent and the risk of developing ovarian cancer is 20 to 40 percent. So, if somebody carries a BRCA1 or a BRCA2 mutation, they have a risk of breast and ovarian cancer. So, what we should do is, we have to counsel them and try to reduce the risk. How do you reduce the risk? You can reduce the risk by removing both the breasts called bilateral mastectomy. You can also reduce the risk by removing both the ovaries and fallopian tubes, which is called risk-reducing salpingo-oophorectomy. Salping means fallopian tube, oophorectomy means removal of the ovaries. You can also reduce the risk by giving a tablet called tamoxifen. Ideally, surgery is preferred. Now, if somebody doesn't want to remove the breast, what you will advise is, you will ask them to get an MRI and a mammogram every six months, beginning the age of 25 or 30 years. So, when a woman who is BRCA positive is either 25 or 30, six monthly MRI and six monthly mammogram is advised. So, these are the recommendations you give for someone who has BRCA1, BRCA2 gene but does not have breast cancer.